So it's Halloween season and it has come to the time of looking for some pumpkins. We are at Nottinghamshire pumpkin picking. So yeah, this place is massive as you can see, absolutely huge. And we are trying to find the perfect pumpkins. We've already picked four, but uh, yeah, we're having a, having a little look around and see what we can uh, see what we can find. Oh, That's a big one, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's a nice one. You've got to find one that's like perfectly round, perfect for carving. No, that's flat. A lot of them get flat because you leave them on the sides. That's You're best looking for one that's standing like upright because they're the best pumpkins. What's this one here actually? That's not standing upright, but no, it's all flat though, it's it. Yeah. Oh! No. Wait, no. Not smooth enough. It's a little bit dinted, isn't it, that one? Yeah. Look for a perfect. Who's ready for Halloween? Let me know in the comments if you're ready for Halloween. What are you going to be up to? Oh, yeah, Carmen. Got to find one that's standing up perfect around and then we can, uh, carve, it. We can carve it today, can't we? My other one that I found, Mummy said we can carve it today as well. Yeah. But we have to get the stuff to carve it first because I don't think Mummy has, yeah. has the ones from last year. Yeah, got to carve our pumpkins but got no carving stuff so hopefully <laughs> everywhere in our stock of it. We've left it to like the week before Halloween. That looks old. Oh. This came off it. <laughs> I can see ones that have no stems or short ones. Yeah. The grey one I found is uh, a yeah, like perfect. I found one. a good perfect grey one, but I can't remember where I put it. Yeah. Now. We'll head into the corn thing and, uh, and I dropped it. Yeah. So I don't know where it is now. Let's see if we can find a perfectly round one. Oh, people smashed it. Someone squashed that one. <laughs> <laughs> I found those are squashed ones. I, I, I can't believe to do grey ones. Hey. I can't believe to do grey ones. I know they didn't have oh, them last year, did one? they? No. Is that there? That's a bit flat. Yeah, a lot of them are just flat, but inside. Oh, what about this one? Squash. No, but um... Are you sure you're allowed in the corn? Yeah. You go pick corn, you can pay for it. I think you're up to no good. What is this? <laughs> I think you're up to no good. Is that not a perfect one? If you wash it, mm. it looks smooth enough. Yeah. Is it good? It looks, it looks. Quite round, yeah. We are in the cornfield. Where are we going? I don't have a clue where I am. Ah! <laughs> don't get down there, I can't get. That is stuck! <laughs> this reminds me of the film Signs. If any of you guys seen that, that film, it gave me nightmares. Honestly, that creeps me the hell out with the aliens in the corn. Aliens in the ah! corn! <laughs> Wait, which way do we go? Which way do we go? This way. This way. Oh, sh oh, ah, ah! You idiot, Cameron. You idiot. Why can't you? Look This way? Yeah. Because now we're pretty much a bit lost. <laughs> We've got to try and find our way out. Follow me. Trapped in the corn. And uh, I keep going the wrong way. I think it's that, I think it's that way. <laughs> I think it's that way. I can't see over it. It's about an eight foot tall. Wait, how did they get out? Head that way. Just head that direction. Oh, they're even out. Oh, no. I'll tell you what, if this was... Um, I can see the end. If this was at night, it would be flipping scary. And you'll definitely get cool. lost. And start thinking about the film signs. Oh, <laughs> Face is a piece of it. Ah. This one. Yeah, this pumpkin one's perfectly there. round. Look. Daddy, did you say you got a great pumpkin? Look. <laughs> See one standing. Look, he looks round. I am currently at my office. Now I'm on the west wing, which is 
said to be one of the most haunted areas of the actual building itself. Now this was once a tuberculosis hospital. Um, it was then a psychiatric hospital. Now I'm here at the minute on the weekend on a Saturday and I've got the whole building to myself. Uh, there's no one else in here. And it creeps me the hell out because a lot of people hear footsteps up here, they hear doors opening. Down near our office, we're on the east wing and uh, we get it a lot. Um, we've heard doors opening, we've heard conversations, footsteps outside in the corridor when nobody should really be there. activated light just came on in the other in the other corridor that corridor there is locked up you can't actually get through the door so oh, that's a bit weird honestly like, this this place is so so creepy really creepy but um, yeah, as I was saying, we hear uh, conversations a lot. So we'll come out of our office when there's nobody else in the building. You hear someone talking and we'll acknowledge it. And then it will just automatically just disappear and go. This little area, this kitchen, um, is where people have actually seen apparitions, where they've actually come and walked out of the kitchen and come past the glass panes in this door and when the very first day we came and signed for the office here I came down this sort of walkway here just got like goosebumps all up my back felt like I was being watched just got the innocent eye just it was weird like there was something else here with me watch out for the ghosties <laughs> yeah this is the main area for the ghosts. <laughs> Are you scared? <laughs> Should we walk back? That motion sensor light is going on a lot. What? Do you know the corridor that you can't get into a lot? The motion sensor light keeps coming on. See it? Like it? It only comes on if someone walks past it. Wait, that's just like that. Yeah, yeah that's because we stopped moving. But well, that's a completely separate corridor. It shouldn't come on unless you open the door and go through there. Oh. They turn on when you walk, look, see? Watch. And that one keeps doing it. Which one? Do you know the, the door at the end? Oh. That leads to another wing that goes off to the right hand side. And the motion sensor lights see, keep turning on. The lights just seem to fast. That's what I mean. It's picking up some look, look, it's just come on again. Look. It's just come on. In the other corridor. It's gone off look. Oh my god. Is it creeping you out? Yeah. Let's go back then. Honestly, this is one of the creepiest areas and where the light keeps turning on. Um which it hasn't actually done it again, yeah. Um that's where a lot of the other tenants in the offices are experiencing stuff and witnessing strange things, whether it be apparitions or strange noises. Ooh. <laughs> Creepy, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm carving the pumpkin from today and I am doing scream. Just got to do the hand and knife now, but so far it is looking good. I'll show you the finished product with the light in once it's done. Pumpkin's all finished. Got the hand and the dagger, screen face. Let's see what it looks like without the light on. Oh yeah. Look at that. It's pretty good actually. I'm happy with that. I think I've done quite a good job. Well, it's not the Halloween season without a Halloween film. So this afternoon, we're gonna be heading out to watch the new Beetlejuice which I haven't actually seen yet myself. Have you guys seen it? Let me know down below in the comments. Do you guys enjoy it? Um, what do you think comparing that one to the original? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go and check that out this afternoon. Take the kids. Looking forward to it? Yeah.
<laughs> so, we'll see how we get on. Cinema. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Did you enjoy that, Mimes? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You're good? Yeah. You haven't watched the first one now, have you, before? No. You have to watch the first one as well. Mm -hmm. It was good, though. I enjoyed it. So, just come out of the film. It was actually really good. I enjoyed it. I'm not sure if it is actually better than the original, but a lot of things aren't as good as the originals. But uh, yeah, I feel, it was, I feel it was good. Did enjoy it. And you enjoyed it, didn't you? Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, go and check it out if you haven't watched it already. Because, uh, yeah, it's decent. What are you doing? Looking at these. Look. Hello. Hi. Audi, Audi, Audi. Favourite place. What's this one? There's even a difference. No. Princess one. No. Okay. Look, there's this one. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's another one here. Yeah. And then there's this one. Tonight dinner. Fajitas. With what we got. Sweet potato fries. These are some of the best sweet potato fries I've ever tasted. How would they get yourself down here? Oh. And forget your fantas. Grab these. Two pound a pack and taste exactly the same, trust me. One of my favourite sections. And uh this Primitiva it's one of the best wines I've already got one at home and it's always sold out if you can get your hands on this at Aldi check it out trust me that's the best garlic bread this one no actually that one there trust me best garlic bread Aldi as you can probably tell I'm an Aldi fan I love it I was going for tea and tea. end up with a massive Oh, no. trolley. You're not going to get all that light in one bag. I will. You won't. What's the price? Trust me. Trust we're the coming process. in one bag because we're coming for dinner. Trust the process. And you've now filled a trolley. Trust the process, baby. Now you got to get it in one bag. You're not going to get it all in. Trust the process. This ain't going to happen. Flipping done it. All in one bag. Oh, I'm taking it. Oh, Jesus Christ, you're going to have to take it over. <laughs> All in one bag. Oh, God. So I've gone into Audi for tea and come out with the heaviest bag in history and a bill of £49.65. So they're officially the most expensive Fajitas I've ever had in my life. But uh, every time we go into Audi, we come out of a flipping trolley full of stuff but i do recommend it because it is now my favorite place don't go anywhere else get all my food from there and you don't need to go and spend a fortune because like i said with the drinks especially you pay four quid for some fantas they literally taste the same you can't you can't tell the difference trust me go and check them out if you haven't tried the audi cans of pop and stuff go and try them out and uh, yeah go and try that bottle of wine i showed you as well so today we've come out for a little walk around Sherwood Forest, doing the little Halloween trail with Amelia over there. So we'll film a few little bits around here and uh, yeah, see what we get up to. Always love a nice little walk around the woods. You can probably see uh, areas a lot. The tree climber. <laughs> Don't break your leg, you got football training. Hell no. <laughs> so we're gonna head towards the major oak and uh, see what we can find along the way. Nice little walk through the woods. I don't know how kids are supposed to work out these clues because uh, I can't even do it. <laughs> but uh, we're heading down towards the major oak, which you can probably see there in the distance. We're actually very close to a section of Sherwood Forest where me and Dave caught those like terrifying growls that one night if you remember that video let me know down in the comments but very close to that section now we've never well we've done one investigation i think around the actual major oak but yeah the back end of Sherwood forest is the worst for paranormal activity and stuff so yeah creepy and there's the major oak 
the camera doesn't do it much justice. It's a lot bigger in real life and apparently over 2,000 years old. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And apparently in there is where Robin Hood used to hide from the sheriff of Nottingham. Who knows? They say these tasks are easy, right, in a visitor centre. I know. There's no way can a kid do this. Look at it. Q E Q. Look at the stain. Q. What even does this mean? All this for a free lollipop. So literally everyone else that's doing this haunted trail walk for kids is saying the exact same thing that it's the most cryptic thing i've ever seen in a flipping life how are you supposed to do that haunted how are kids supposed to do that haunted trail though like it's like some flipping crystal maze stuff <laughs> jesus three pound fifty to do this flipping hardest thing ever and then they'll probably get like a 10 pence lolly. So a lot of the areas where like the main visitor centre public footpaths are, obviously like this one that goes to the main road. Um, not a lot really happens here. You do get the odd like paranormal sighting, but uh, yeah, the majority of the strange activity happens round the back end, which is in that direction. And then towards the old part of Shield Forest as well, which is even further that way. And um, yeah, that is the most haunted area where a lot of crazy stuff happens. And uh, where majority of the paranormal sightings are because it is the main area for dog walkers as well. And majority of the times it's dog water, walkers, dog walkers? <laughs> majority of the time it's dog walkers that are seeing and experiencing strange stuff in here so yeah it's a creepy place creepy place to be at night trust me in fact even on this path we came down here once um in the pitch black and even here it's creepy but you go to the old 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 section where they don't really put out there in the visitor center uh, it's not one that's sort of published a lot about it is super creepy down there very creepy this is the sort of thing I'm talking about. What on earth is that? What, what is that even supposed to mean? And then that's, that's what you're that, working that, with. That's what you've got to work it out with. What the, some crystal maze shit. What does that even mean? It doesn't even give you like instructions. <sighs> so finally coming to the end of the hardest child's Halloween trail known to man. And, uh, Whew. It's took some work, put it that way. I'm just hoping that this treat is worth it. So we'll see what we get. But uh, I ain't got very good expectations for this. <laughs> Let's see what we get. So after the uh, world's hardest trail, what was your prize, Anita? <laughs> <laughs> All that hard work for that bad boy. £3.50 for this. It's not even worth that. <laughs> Oh God. It's worth a lunch meal, £3.50. Huh? You get this. I thought we could get a three course meal for all that hard work. Right guys, I'm finally back home. So I'm going to get on with uploading the Halloween special video for tomorrow night. And then I need to edit this vlog, put this vlog together. And I'm gonna try my hardest to get this vlog out tonight. So if you're watching this, um, I've literally just finished editing and just uploaded this right now. Um, so yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel. Get ready for the Halloween special tomorrow night, 7 p.m. UK time. And if you watch this vlog right till the end, then comment down below. Uh, what can we have? Pumpkin patch. <laughs> comment down below, pumpkin patch, if you watch this vlog all the way through. And yeah, as I said, Catch the Halloween special tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. And I'm going to get off now because I've got to get this video uploaded. So see you guys on the next one.